Hello doll friends and welcome to our channel Nene and Sophia. I'm Nene, an adult doll collector and my granddaughter Sophia is usually joining me. She's a little under the weather this evening but I was so excited to get these brand new Barbie Looks dolls and I wanted to share them with you and I want to open them up and um, get a closer look at them myself. So I thought, what a perfect evening to do a video. It's nice and it's been a beautiful day here in my part of the world, nice and warm. Um, <laughs> in fact, <clears throat> I talked to my husband into turning on the air conditioning because it was like got super warm. And then like tomorrow it's supposed to be like sweatshirt weather again. But you know, that that's how it is in the Midwest. We have those kind of days. So I will take all, you know, the sunshine and the nice warm breeze that I can get. Um, so it's just been a really good day and I actually got these um, the same day they released from Amazon. I got them. Um, I was super grateful for some of our friends on Instagram to say that they could be pre-ordered on Amazon because then you don't have to pay shipping. Um, I am a Mattel Creations member but I still have to pay $6.95 whether I order one doll or whether I order five or six dolls, I have to, you know, pay that shipping. And if I don't have to pay shipping, I'm I'm good with that. So I was super um, excited to receive these last night um, on the front porch. So what I would like to do is take a look at the boxes. Um, this theme, I guess, is like a pastel theme, which is very pretty and here is model number 21, which they have, you know, on the side of the box. And I believe this is our Brooklyn face sculpt. And so she has some pink lettering on her box. It says looks on the side and has a picture of all the dolls on the back. Um, it says Barbie looks way four is a curated collection of dolls each with a fresh pastel look and style personality. The on-trend fashions feature photo-worthy details, and with poseable, articulated bodies, they inspire the stylist within. Barbie Looks dolls are ready to style, pose, photograph, and post. So, interesting. I mean, it just sounds to me like these dolls are actually made for the collector, the person that wants to do doll stories on Instagram and that kind of thing, um, as opposed to like a Playline doll, but these certainly could be Playline dolls. And, you know, in my day, Barbies had the click knees and um, sometimes their arms weren't bendable, um, but they could at least like sit down in a chair, their waist moved, um, and their head moved and that kind of thing. So, you know, kids like, kids like to be able to pose their dolls too. So, but I thought that the back of it sounded like it was kind of geared to the adult collector. So this is number 21. And moving up next here, we have model 24. Now she is in a pink dress, but the writing and things on her and the, the font is in a purple on her box and it says the same things on the back and we'll get her out of the box to take a closer look and then we have number 23 and she has the blue on her box model number 23 and then we have model 22 kind of a peach toned on the font here but she is also wearing a pink jumpsuit and Mr. Handsome here model number 25 and I gotta tell you guys I don't have them out of the box yet we'll take a closer look when we don't have a glare but I went ahead <laughs> I went ahead and got all of these guys and I have got to stop doing that I've got to stop spending so much money but last time I was like mm, I'll just you know I think it was in the last wave the petite one, I was like, mm, I, I could I could live without her. And then Sophia was like, oh, no, that's my favorite. So I thought I might as well just get them all. And I especially um, wanted, well, I want him 
but I couldn't really tell what he was kind of looking like close up or what his face looked like, but he's so much more handsome in person than he was in the stock photos. And I went ahead and ordered two of him because I don't have very many dolls with a dark skin tone that I can use for body donors. And I have a lot of really fat, handsome fashionistas that I would like a different body for that's more poseable. So I went ahead and got another one of him. I hope like some of these um, go on sale so that if you do want to have a poseable body, you can get one kind of um, reasonable. So I'm going to open these boxes up and take these out and we'll get a nice close look at them. Okay, y'all. Um, that was not as painful as it usually is getting dolls out of the box. Um, it seemed that their tea ties in the back of their head, there were still three of them, but they didn't seem to be so tight that I couldn't even fit my scissors in there. So that was kind of nice and made it a little bit easier to get out. And I apologize. I, I was sitting, I was taking the first doll out of the box and I thought, wait, I don't have all my doll. I don't have them all. Um, somehow and she's beautiful and I really want her I overlooked getting number 20 maybe because I was thinking okay there's you know six and I ordered six dolls because I ordered two of my kin and I didn't get my redhead so I got on and she's temporarily out of stock of course but um I went ahead and ordered her so that I can get her as soon as she gets back in stock. So I don't have number 20 here, but let's take a look at the ones we do have for this evening. Here's our little petite gal, and I don't have names for any of these guys. If you have any suggestions, you know, just let me know, know which model number it is or describe them to me because, you know, you get a lot of dolls and sometimes you just, sometimes names come to you and sometimes they don't. Now, this is what I'm talking about. When I see their images like when they were first coming out, people had them on YouTube or Instagram. You know, you think you know which ones you really, really like. And like, oh, I just, you know, I thought Blondie back there was super pretty and I thought Brooklyn was super pretty. And, but then when you get them closer up, then you're like, oh, well, this one's prettier and maybe, you know, you just don't know sometimes until you actually do see them in person even though that gives us a good idea of what we want. Because I think that she has got such a cute face in person, and I don't feel like I, it really, I really noticed that in some of those stock images. She's got pretty eyes that are kind of, gosh, kind of a smoky mauve, maybe, color. And that she has on this cute pink jumpsuit. And her hair does have product in it. I mean, it's super, super stiff so that it doesn't move. But she's got this short, little, cute, sassy do, which I really like. Um, a nice, natural lip. And she has quite a bit of blushing, I feel like. Um, yeah, I know that that's going to be hard to see. But just a really pretty, I think a really pretty face sculpt, and I'm not good at I know some of them, but not really memorizing all those face sculpts. And they all have, I mean, I think that I'm not, um, you know, by any means a stylist or anything, but I think that they all have kind of fun shoes this go round. Okay, so that's our petite gal. And she was number 22, the Wilkes doll number 22. And then this is our curvy girl. I'm not, just not sure what I think. Um, of course, uh, any of this is my opinion, you know, just, I think I really like um, her hair is super, super soft. And I think it's a pretty color. She has this sparkly little pink dress on. Okay, and you can kind of see, same in the back, Velcro's in the back. I did notice that they have some little built-in 
like little built-in panties, which are kind of nice for these shorter dresses. I just don't, I mean, and a lot of them don't have any kind of, you know, because these are posable, kind of like, you know, have this model look to them, I guess, is part of it. She just doesn't look happy, I suppose. Um, kind of almost like she's sucking her cheeks in. And her hair is shed, shedding a little bit, but like I said, it's really soft, and that that's just part of it. I mean, I do think she's pretty. Um, she has a, a thick brow and very little, like I don't see like a lot of eyeshadow with her. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm looking at myself and not letting you see. So I don't really see like hardly any eye color. I think her lip color is very, very pretty. She's kind of got those pouty lips and uh, like a gloss lip. I like these kind of, I don't know, what would you call that type of shoe? Kind of like a booty type of heel. So that is our curvy girl. And here's Blondie here. Her hair too is very, very soft. Um, doesn't have any product in it. She has this sparkly blue one shoulder dress that looks really pretty on her. Um, a little bit of, let's see, looks like a little bit of like a light shadow, but not a lot. And they all have a I don't know, kind of like pinky tones for their lips or pink and peach tones for their lips. She has the um, regular made to move body and again, some cute, some cute heels there. I just thought she was really, I think that blue, maybe it's the blue dress just really like that blue. It just really pops. And I think that that's, that was a really pretty color. And then here's the, this Brooklyn face sculpt here. I think she is, let's say, I don't know if I can pick a favorite. I was going to say, is she my favorite? I really like her outfit. Um, she's just, she's just super cute. She does have some eye color. Oops. These, <laughs> it's gonna, I don't know how you guys feel about some of these stands that um, come with the dolls. I broke another one tonight. I have broken so many of these things because like you try to get this around their waist and sometimes it, don't, you know, it needs a little bit of give to it to get maybe around their clothes or something. But like, it's not like I'm rough on them. And this right here breaks every time, like right, right in here. And so I broke another one tonight. And the ones that go with the Ken, you know, you have to have special ones for Ken dolls. So I hate it when I break one of those. So I'm trying to be careful. So our Brooklyn has, that one looks like it got a little messed up, maybe with the tea ties, the little micro braids here. And, oops, got caught. And some, like a, like a dark plum, maybe, eyeshadow, pink lips. It's like halter. Well, not really a halter either. Let's see. Um, sleeveless top. I like how it comes up around the neck, er this yoke area here. And then this pleather skirt, I think, is just fabulous. Um, it's very shiny. It's got this stitch on the side, a little cutout right here. And then she has these pink heel boots on. Very, very cute. I really like her. So I think she's, uh, she's probably my favorite. And like I said, I don't think the stock images did him justice. I think he's got such, I'm trying to get him so you can see him and he's so heavy, gracious. Um, such a handsome face. 
just think he's a cutie. He's got rooted hair and it does go all the way around. Very soft. And he has the, um, oh gosh, what do they call it? Like, kind of like that Superman body, the buff body. Make sure I'm getting back on his stand here. And this neon yellow shirt with purple pants. You know what I would, <laughs> I know that these guys are all kind of pastel, but I would really like to see sometime on our kins and it's probably a budget issue and because they have tank tops or t-shirts or something like that. Wouldn't it be nice if they, and it could just have like a, like a button down shirt, like a kind of a dress shirt or something. I think that that would be really a nice look for our kids. Because I think they always, I feel, always feel like they're a little shortchanged on the fashion. And he hardly wants to stay in his stand because he's so super heavy. And he's got the hands too, you know, that he can kind of grip stuff with. So I like that. See all of his big muscles there. And then he has, his shoes are silver, like silver short I'm up here. Like a sil short silver boot. So I thought that was kind of fun. So <laughs> then he was, what was he? So he's number 25. Brooklyn was 21. Our blonde is 23. Our petite gal is number 22. And our curvy gal is number 24. And number 20 Hopefully we'll be on the way soon. I can't believe I didn't get her because I love her face sculpt and she's got really pretty. I love redheads. Um, so, but these are the, the five that I do have. Um, welcome to the doll house, gals and fellas. And if you guys can think of any names for them, you know, drop me a comment in the comment section because Nothing's coming to me right now, but I, I'm really happy with all of them. Um, I don't regret getting any of them. I really look forward to these look dolls. I just think that they're very, I mean, this, they reuse some of the face sculpts and I realize that, but um, I just think, and I know that the price went up, but for the price point, you're getting articulation, you're getting a nice face sculpt, you know, a an interesting look to the dolls and the fashion's simple but it's it's pretty and I really like it so I'm really happy with adding these guys to the doll room so I think that that's all for now I don't want to go on too long because we had a lot of things to look at I really appreciate you spending your evening here with us and taking a look at these dolls if you like doll content please like comment, share, and subscribe. If you ring the bell, you'll get notification of when we have a new video out. And you can find us on Instagram with some different doll pictures and, and things than what we put here on the YouTube channel. And that's Nene underscore Sophia. And um, we'd like to have you follow us there too. So remember, no matter how many trips that you've taken around the sun, always take time to play and have some fun. And until next time, this has been Nene. See ya.